Electronic stethoscopes can convert sound waves to electrical signals which enable them to listen, record and play back sound waves coming from the body. One of the most popular ways used to convert sound signal to electrical signal is using a piezoelectric material. The special property of piezoelectric material is that when external stress is applied across the material, it can generate voltage. Let's take a look at how these materials are able to exhibit this unique property. Consider this structure of a silicon dioxide material, popularly known as quartz crystal. When we take a look at this structure from a specific angle, we see it has a hexagonal shape. The big question is why the piezoelectric material produces an EMF across it when you apply a force. To get the answer for this question, first we need to understand a concept called electronegativity. Here the oxygen and silicon atoms share one electron. Due to the smaller size of oxygen atoms, the shared electron is closer to the oxygen's nucleus, so oxygen will exert more force on the electron than silicon. As a result, oxygen is more electronegative than silicon and will have a slight negative charge. This also means the silicon atom will have a slight positive charge. So the oxygen and silicon atom together constitute a dipole. In the quartz crystal, these dipoles are arranged such that the center of charges of the negative and positive atoms coincide. Now what will happen to the center of charge if we apply a compressive force across the molecules? The center of charges do not coincide anymore and there will be a charge separation. This is called polarization. This also means an electric field will be created between the net positive and negative charges. This leads to generation of a small voltage across it. The quartz structure consists of multiple similar hexagons connected in series which lack a center of symmetry. So now, if we apply a compressive force across the entire material, the individual charge separations of these hexagons will add up to generate a voltage across the material. Let's replace these charge pairs with small cells. It is clear that if we have more cells in the series or thickness of the material is more, more will be the net voltage developed. Now what do you think will happen if a voltage is applied across the material? The special characteristics of piezoelectricity is that it is reversible. If a voltage is applied across the material, the positive and negative charges of the material will experience forces in the opposite directions and the hexagon will get stretched. Similarly, if the polarity of the voltage is reversed, the hexagon will get compressed. This stress or strain is transferred across the material, resulting in a net compression or expansion of the material. Now, let's study the working of an electronic stethoscope. The electronic stethoscope has a very thin diaphragm connected to the piezoelectric material. When the sound waves hit the diaphragm, it oscillates making compressions or expansions in the piezoelectric material. This produces voltage across the material proportional to the amount of deflection. The voltage is then transferred to an amplifier and filter circuit to get the desired output. We connect the piezo material to a foam spacer and a steel plate to enhance the vibrations, which in turn results in generating more voltage. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.